Welcome to the SAS video tutorial on confidence intervals in SAS. This is for univariate confidence intervals on simply on a mean. Okay, so this is part of Statistics 321 at Virginia Commonwealth University, but anybody can use it. I've already read in the data that I'm going to use because I've been using this Cycler CPK data consistently so that you don't have to keep reading in new data every single time. But if, after a while, I will start changing things uh, to mix things up a little bit. All right, so the first thing I want to do is remember that we used product univariate for uh, summaries before. And all I have to do is play with this a little bit, and I can get confidence intervals out of it. If you remember, you can also play with it a little bit and get histograms. So if I want a confidence interval from this, all I need to type in here is CI basic, and this should produce a confidence interval for me. And this is a SAS keyword, so I'm actually going to capitalize it just to be consistent here, and we'll see what this does. So let's give this a run. Notice it spits out a lot of information. However, one of the th new blocks here that is uh, here is this basic confidence limits assuming normality. So this assumes normality. Uh, here is the mean, and it has 95% confidence limits on the mean. It also has n limits on the standard deviation and variance if you're looking for those as well. So it spits out a lot of information immediately to you. So our confidence interval is a 95% confidence interval that goes from 26 to 31. So we'd be 95% confident that the true mean in the population is between 26.89 and 31.50. Zero, uh, because these, if you remember, capture the mean, but not necessarily every single time. That's why we say it's 95% confidence. Okay, so let's see if we can't go back and change this confidence level just a little bit. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just change this, and I'm going to put alpha, which is the proportion of the time I want to be wrong, equals 0 0.1, and let's see what this does. So I change this and added this additional statement. Now when I come in here and look at it, notice I have 90% confidence intervals or confidence limits. Now this is important to remember that you're actually playing with the opposite, right? We got 90 out of this and we put in 0.1. So you actually have to put the opposite of what you're looking for. So don't put in here 90% looking, for, you have to put in one minus the confidence level you're looking for. So I could also do 0 0.01, give this a run, and you'll see that in the output, we will have a 99% confidence limits. So 26.1 to 32.2. You also get it from standard deviation and variance. Okay, still this hypothesis is garbage. Don't worry about it right now. We'll come back to it later. All right, so now we can move on to the next video.